Welcome to the Tarantula Collective, the new Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with me on this amazing journey. If you've been around for a while, then you know what to do. Just hit that like button and help support the channel. Essentially, this video is just kind of like a screen test. I just kind of, I want to see what it sounds like in here, as well as what it looks like on camera. How things look in person and how they show up in a video aren't always the same. I can tell right now, even with the sound absorbers I have up, it's still a little echoey. I don't know if the mic's going to be picking that up or not. Not, but we'll find out. You, you already know. So officially, I'll be kicking off the new Tarantula Collective in January. But I wanted to make a quick video, as I said, to test this out, but also to kind of show it off to you guys. A lot of people were very interested in what it was going to look like, how things are coming along. So this is kind of like an update video. Once everything is built and set up, more than just this little section right here, I'll still be doing the top 10 videos, the species-specific care and husbandry videos, the nature documentary style videos, but also we'll be creating some new exciting content. In addition to product photography and making video advertisements for many different businesses within this niche, within the tarantula hobby, as well as like the exotic pet hobby in general. Kind of like what I've been doing for tarantula cribs. And finally, I have enough space that I can designate certain areas to those types of projects. But this is a surreal experience. It's been a lot more expensive and a lot more time consuming than I anticipated. I'm essentially doing all of this by myself, but so far it's been well worth the sweat and expense. Though I did hire a guy named Zach, who's a zoology student at West Liberty University to help me move all of these animals because I, I couldn't do it all by myself. And we got it done in one day. So thank you so much, Zach. But now I'm going to be able to create content and I won't be constrained by space and time. No more constantly setting up and breaking down, depending on what it is that I'm filming. Like I have this set up for talking head stuff, but then I would have to break down all the lights and cameras and mics and then set up the table and reposition lights and cameras and film the tarantulas and then break all of that down and set up the nature diorama for those nature documents style videos that I make. But now I'll have a dedicated space that I can have those dioramas set up. I'll have a dedicated space for product photography and videography. I'll have a designated table or workspace for building enclosures and doing unboxings. And it'll be as simple as just kind of moving the camera around. The lights can be set up for that specific project and just stay there. I feel that this is a huge step for both the channel as well as the content that I'll be creating. But also for me as an individual, this is essentially a professional business now. I had to register as an LLC and get insurance, sign a, a triple net lease for the space, start tracking all my expenses and be a responsible business owner. I'm taking a huge risk on myself, but I believe this will be a successful move and will open up the doors creatively, not just to make better content, but different types of content in the future. And this is all possible because of people like you that watch and share my content, like the videos and leave comments. And especially those of you that support me on Patreon or have become YouTube channel members. And of course, the businesses that generously sponsor my videos Videos. Like today's sponsor, Skillshare. Now is the perfect time to invest in yourself. With a Skillshare membership, you can engage in your hobbies and passions all year long. It's the perfect way to start and finally keep your resolutions for the new year. I am currently taking the class Finding Fulfillment, Using Pivots to Power Your Creative Career by Emma Gannon. And it is teaching me how I can make my own pivot towards happiness and a more fulfilled life with practical and inspiring exercises designed to kickstart and map out my current pivot to have my own professional YouTube studio. This includes insights on time management, financial planning, and removing the pressures as you begin to make your move. This studio has been a dream of mine since I first started making YouTube videos, and it has finally come to fruition. You can make 2023 the year that you perfect a new creative hobby, land a new career, or launch your own business like I have. And you can do it risk-free with a free 30-day trial to Skillshare. The first 1,000 people that use my link in the pinned comment or in my description will receive a one-month free trial to Skillshare. Thanks again, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. Now, I've seen a lot of people leave comments saying that now I've got all this room, I can get a lot more animals. But it's important to note that more space doesn't mean I have more time. So I gotta be responsible and not take on more animals than I can take care of. A few other people were suggesting that I put up walls or ceilings and separate all the tarantulas and, and other animals by the location. So maybe like a room just for arid species, a room for tropical species, or have the new worlds in one spot and the old worlds in another spot, or break up the fossorial, arboreal, terrestrial spiders into different locations, which are all great ideas. And, and if this was a zoo, I definitely would be doing something like that. But one of the key things I was looking at when I was trying to find a new space was somewhere that had a big open floor plan. So I had plenty of room to move around and have all these lights and cameras and mics and, and all the other stuff. So I wasn't going to be tripping over it or having to constantly push and move things around. And Donnie from New England Reptile
Kyle left a comment on one of my Instagram posts saying it's gonna be hard to replace those basement vibes though, which I totally understand, but I'm still in a basement. I am in the basement of this building. So it kind of still has that feeling. And it's tempting to kind of try and emulate that standard YouTube studio vibe. But once I have the lobby or kind of like the hangout area and my office done, you're gonna see it's not so much neon and LED lights, like your typical kind of YouTube studio. I think the vibe's gonna end up being more like a record shop from the 1990s, which I'm gonna love. I don't know if everybody will, but uh, you know, I, that, it's my space. I, that's the kind of vibe that I got. And probably the most common comment that I've got, or the, the most common concern is that people are worried that I'm not gonna have my animals at home anymore. And to be honest, the first couple of nights sleeping, knowing that my animals weren't underneath me, like under the floor in the basement, where I could easily go down and check on them and, and just watch and enjoy them, it was kind of difficult to sleep. I, I had a rough night's sleep the first couple of nights. And, and that's weird because they're not like emotional support animals. I'm not like attached to them like I am my children or even my dogs or cats. But I do care about them a whole lot and it was, it just was a little unnerving knowing they weren't in the house anymore. And no, I didn't keep any of them at home. I, I considered keeping a few species in the basement, maybe even leaving the snakes or the other reptiles and amphibians, but I really wanted to have easy access to them when I was filming. And also it just would be wildly inconvenient to have the crickets and roaches and, and frozen mice and all that here but then also have to keep some at the house for those animals. So I decided to just move everybody here. So the only animals at home are my three-year-old and a uh, dog and two cats. But don't worry, I mean, it's not like I gotta drive 15 minutes to see these guys. They are literally a couple hundred feet from my front door. I'm essentially right next door to the, the building that the studio is in the basement of. So I can run out my front door and be here in like under 90 seconds. Actually, in the next video, I think I'm gonna film myself leaving my house with a timer going so you can see exactly how quick I can get from home to this spot, because I'm kind of curious myself. But I also have security cameras set up in here so I can check in on them at any time from my phone or computer. I've got temperature sensors that will let me know if it gets too warm or too cold. They'll send an alert right to my phone. I also have water sensors on the floor, so in case it floods or the misting system springs a leak or anything like that, I'll get alerted immediately and can rush over and, and address whatever problem there might be. But I mean, this is also my studio, you know, like this is where I work, it's where I'm gonna be hanging out. So I'll be spending a lot of time here. As much time as I spend in my basement, maybe even a little bit more. Depends on what my wife has to say about that. Now, I really wanna get this video edited and out to you all this week so you, I can answer some of these questions and concerns that you all have had, as well as just to see what this looks like on camera. I'm, I'm excited to get this footage into my computer. So hopefully it turns out well. But no matter what, I'm sure this won't be the standard shot. I've got some more lights that are coming in that I gotta install on the enclosures on the top shelves behind me, as well as a bunch of sound absorbers that are coming in and other decorations and, and just, just trying to get this whole place feeling comfortable. So it's gonna be a constantly evolving thing for a while. And there are different angles I'll be shooting. Like I'll be kind of shooting with the reptiles and amphibians behind me in some shots. I've got a little podcast studio set up over here right off camera. And then like the hangout room in the lobby, that's gonna be very comfortable and awesome. But right now it is a complete mess. There's boxes and stuff that still needs to get unpacked and pictures that need hung on the walls and all kinds of stuff. That being said, I do have a lot of empty wall space. So if you're an artist or you wanna draw something or you know you got anything that you would like me to hang up on the wall here as decorations, I have an address in the description of all my videos all the way down on the bottom where you can send stuff. So if you got a cool photo or a cool picture you've drawn or something like that that you think would look really cool, feel free to send it. I, I will happily accept that and hang it up. Anyways, thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for making my dream a reality. I mean, I. I honestly, I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you. I, I mean, I wouldn't need to, but making these videos is something that I really enjoy and I feel extremely blessed and honored that I'm able to do this as a full-time career, that I've been able to take this channel of just filming tarantulas and turn it into a business. And it just, it, I mean, it just, it moves me. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's, I feel extremely fortunate and I owe it all to you all, the people that are watching these videos, because you guys constantly support me, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, and it means a whole lot to me. I'm not always able to answer every message and every email that I get. I wish that I could, and, and maybe when I get some help, I'll be able to do that. But if you send me a message and I don't respond, it doesn't mean that I don't care. I just don't have time or I don't see it because messages get buried. But I want you to know 
that I do appreciate you and I do thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me this opportunity. So thank you all so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great holiday season, whether it's Hanukkah or Christmas or Festivus or whatever it is you celebrate. And if you don't celebrate anything, I hope you just enjoy some time spent with your friends and family. And I hope that we can all just, you know, take a moment to take stock in our lives and have gratitude for the things that we have because you can't be hateful if you're grateful. So thank you all so much for your continued support. If I don't see you in another video before the beginning of the year, happy new year and stay tuned for all new videos coming in the beginning of January. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>